we're gonna take these two loads up to the port of Indiana and uh, basically wait till conditions get fit to finish this farm up. over here are all empty as you can see here they got the door open on that one I believe if I remember correctly those are 850,000 I want to say 850,000 bushel so that's roughly 850 semi loads we've got a ship out there not sure what they're loading or unloading on there Cargill does load ships up here uh, I guess they loaded one last week I want to say for beans so there is a possibility when we're up here uh, not today, but uh, there is a possibility sometime this fall when we're up here that we could catch a ship being loaded, which that would be awesome. I, It's been about 10, 12 years since I've been up here and uh, seen a ship being loaded. So that's where they would bring the ship in and they would load ships. Chicago is literally just over there. Normally you can see it, but due to the wildfire haze and smoke in the air, you can't really see it today. You can just barely see it, but I know on camera you guys can. So we had a no in furrow, a soybean in furrow, and a corn in furrow. The same corn in furrow that we run on all of our corn. The soybean in furrow was two tenths of a bushel better than no in furrow, and the corn in furrow overall was six tenths of a bushel better than no in furrow, and four tenths of a bushel better than soybean in furrow. I don't know, when you figure at $9.50 beans at six tenths of a bushel i believe it came out to like five dollars or six dollars an acre gain now don't get me wrong the corn in furrow was better overall which that's what i was hoping for and it was showing season long results that it was better Just 
access to dryland 30s. I'm really excited to get into those irrigated 30s because those look extremely good. All right, let's head to the port. field but the problem is it's probably gonna we're gonna have to split this up between three semi loads because of what we're pretty sure is going to make in the other field so we can't get it all on between two trucks and we're gonna have to split this up between three partial loads get this loaded off the grain cart I'm not gonna have enough time to get up to the port to dump but I imagine after I get this done and tarp uh, I'll be taking the grain cart over to Mars oh how I've missed you Harvester. Looks about like the one I filmed the other day.
radio is getting it done for us. MXT 400 in here with the new style external speaker. I would highly recommend getting a speaker if you're looking for better audio clarity. These things are awesome to have in here. If you guys are interested in picking up some Midwind radios, I will have a promo code down below in the description, Warner Farms, and you guys can use that to save 15% off any order, and I will have the website for them linked down below as well. LED row finder lights from Lancota. I'll have that link down below for you guys also. That is pretty slick. I would highly recommend doing that if your combine doesn't have that. Trust the auto steer. <laughs> wow. It's like fog. Unbelievable how dusty it is. And that is a wrap on this field. First custom harvest field is done. We got to do a little bit of equipment shuffling tonight over here in Wanata, and uh, we got to go pick up the black semi and bring that back to the farm. We got two loads to take up to the port first thing in the morning, and we will be back over here hammering down on some beans again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.